Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining in for tonight's Platinum webinar. I would like to just introduce myself. Um, we are Silver Executive Directors Hannes and Elise van der Jeffe from Centurion Pretoria. First of all, I would like to thank my uplines and my mentors in our Manatech business, Bronze Presidential, Bronze Presidential Directors Heike and Geraldine Berg. I want to also thank our two-star Platinum Presidential Director, Lewani van der Linde, for allowing me the massive privilege and massive honor to be the MC on tonight's webinar platform. I cannot describe the feelings that I'm going through, and it's such a privilege to be on. I would like to remind everyone of what is physically happening this week, just to make sure that we are covering all our meetings. So we've got a Worcester meeting, in-person meeting happening Tuesday, the 25th of June from 7 o'clock. We've got the Paul in-person meeting on Thursday, the 27th of June from 7 o'clock as well. Um, there are more details on for all the events that's planned on our three-point plan. Please make sure that you are monitoring it consistently. And through this, you are building your business and growing into leadership. Very important. I want to also remind all of our great tools that we have monthly with a special book that is chosen specifically for, for that current month um, that, is, uh, that is leading us and growing us into leaders. And then our special recorded audios by our upline leaders that we can learn from because they were also where, where most are, where all are that started in the business. So the four audios that we've got for this month is Dreams by Silver Presidential Director Neil and Helena Wilken. Wilken sorry. Um, then we've got The Enthusiasm by Bronze Presidential Director Sylvia De... Apologies if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Adjewawi. And uh, uh, Presidential Director Natasha Olivier. We've got then Put Yourself Out Here by Silver Presidential Director Francois van Skolpijk. And then we've got the last one, Open Boxes, by Silver Presidential Director Daliana Ferreira. Our book for this month is Cal Compound, Effect by Darren Hardy. And just make sure that you are scanning your book into your Lead Team app and make sure that your book is loaded on your monthly subscription order. If it's loaded there, there's no way that you'll miss um, any of the books that is physically growing yourself into leadership, but also developing your business and growing the people around you. It's We are currently in the month, uh, in the week of this month um, that we are ranking up. It's our busiest period and our most exciting week of the month because Mike, well, all of us are either going into our next levels or we've got team members that's, that's leveling up. So make the most of the last few days remaining and please make sure that you that you work with your upline leaders to ensure you finish strong for this business period. I would like to just also, pro well, I would like to thank and promote our two Storm Platinum, Platinum Presidential Director, Lou Winnie from the Linda, with a new audio on the Lead Team app, new associate checklist. It is such a very valuable tool for all and all all of the new associates and actually existing associates in the, in the business um, to have this as a as a starter, but also reminding us from such an amazing leader. So thank you, Lewani, for that. There is also a checklist available under resources on the three point plan dot um, net website. So please use all the available tools for your business to grow your business. Now for the best part of the of the session. I have the absolute privilege to introduce our guest speakers for tonight. They own their own business um, in the property and interior decorating industry and got involved with Manatech 18 years ago when the products changed their lives and finances drastically. This business gave them choices about their lives and the calling enabled them to do Manatech successfully, and this is the best part, part-time with their other businesses and they could grow that passionately and enjoy that. How amazing is this? With their children, they are passionate about helping people find their voices, finding their purposes, and they share hope. They have won the Global Award for New Business Development in the year 2017. So please put your hands together and welcome with me our speakers for tonight, Gold Presidential, Gold Presidential Director Sebastian and Brach Kamstra. 
Thank you, Elise. And uh, yes, it's so special to have you with us tonight on this call. And again, it's, it goes with what we are going to talk about tonight. And um, yeah, we really appreciate you taking the time with us and having you with us on this call it was very special. Um, we are on this call because of two very special people, but actually four. And our topic tonight is so specifically chosen by them for us and it's it's the two the four people that we that really this topic is all about them and we can say that's people that have the fruit on the tree and we just want to honor and say thank you to Louis and Leonie van der Linde our two star platinums they are people that we had the privilege of have the privilege to have known for 18 years and to walk the walk with them and um yeah, they are people, hard people for us. And, um, and the same with Vincent and Yolandi van der Linde. We, we've got to know you people. We've learned so much from you and especially about being people and being hard people, um, heartfelt people. And, um, when you talk, we know what you are saying and we know it comes from your heart. And thank you that we've learned so much from you and, that we can share on this platform tonight. We take it, take it very as a special privilege to be sharing tonight. And our topic for for, for tonight is um, people don't want to know how much you know. They really want to know how much you care. And um, it sounds like a cliche, but it's really not a cliche. If you're on the school tonight or you're a guest on the school and you thought you're going to learn about a business that is um, maybe going to tell you a little bit about um, AI or you've got a business that's all, like, all about computers and you're going to go onto the internet and you're going to sit at home and you're going to, you know, you're going to do your business online and you're not going to work with people. Um, maybe you want to leave this meet, this meeting now because, um, we're going to talk about very special things or cre creations or beings, and that is people. And um, if you are working with people, you know you're working with the most special things there is to work with. And um, if there wasn't people to work with, we wouldn't have a business. And... People in this business need our products. And if they need our products, we need to know them. We need to know how to work with them. And um, because we want to serve them with our product and we want to know about their well-being because we want to know about their well-being so that we can help them with the right products. And we want to befriend them because we want them to be lifelong product um, um, users of our product, and and th then this is where long, lots of people leave the business. So being eighteen years in the business is not sometimes you also think, oh, can it be so long? Because it, you know, is it is it something that people can use a product for eighteen years? Yes, it's possible. We've got the people that's been using this product we've got family and friends who's been using this product close to us that's using this product for 18 years ourselves the products have changed my life that's how we got involved in the business um, 18 years ago because a friend of of ours decided he's going to share the product with sebastian he knew i was very sick and um, i had the challenge and he shared the product with me so what happened is we, we realized that we, we need this product and to sh not just for me, we need it for our, for, for our son who had a challenge. And then we realized, but, but the, the people everywhere around us needed this product. But how do you get this message across to other people? And as we got that, we realized, but we need some extra skills. Now, this is where it happened is that everybody come from different backgrounds. Myself was in my own business. I told people what to do. So if I told somebody, go there, do this, pick up this thing, put that thing down there, they did it. Now I'm in Manatech 
it's a different thing. I can't tell somebody, buy this, do this. And then the biggest thing is we tell somebody we're not in selling. So we're working with people. We're not in selling. Okay, so there's a few things that started. There's a few things that go a little bit wire. wire. And then um, the, the, there's a few things that one and one didn't make two. And, and then you realize over time, yo, they need to be a system. And then brilliance from the Louis and Leonie van der Linde, our two stars, they realized they need to be a system. They started to build a system. And it wasn't from the beginning of these 18 years. It slowly started to, to come. They said, okay, now we need this personal development, the, the system. And we got the system. And as I was thinking about the system, I thought, okay, I wonder if there's somewhere going to be a degree that they're going to give to us in the system that they can say, okay, yes, you're, for, for this many years, if you've been in the system, you're going to get your diploma or you're, you're going to put it on your wall, you know, like when you went to university and you're going to put it up there. And I was laughing at myself and I thought, if I go to lead team, if I put it in and I ask AI, is when it, how long is it going to take me to get my diploma in, in the system? And then I thought, you know what? No, it, it's like there's one of those stupid questions because you're going to say, no, you know what? You're going to, you're going to learn till the day you die. You can still get better. You, you're never going to, you can never re reach that full potential because that's not, no, that's definitely one of, one of the things you can't get to the best. Because I realized the book that I'm, I want to share a little bit from on this specific thing that people really want to know if you care is, um, in our Platinum Library, there's a book from, from Coach Wooden, and um, it's really a book that's more than 60 years back that it's written, but it goes back way back from his notes that he made. He was this excellent coach um, for UCLA. He actually, his main thing was that for, for his fame was he, he's an esteemed um, coach for basketball for, for UCLA. He won 10 championships for the, for the UCLA college in, uh, for basketball. But the main thing is, is he actually, his father taught him and he grew up with a father that wasn't successful in life, but he was successful in building four sons with an, with amazing life attitudes. And they, they learned from their father. And he, he built people up in sports, um, in the sports world. And what's so amazing is you can take every modern book from the shelf today, the Simon Sinek's, the, uh, you, you can, Maxwell's, everybody. You can take each one of those books and you will get a Coach Wooden quote or a, a backbone of mm -hmm. Coach Wooden. You'll get in that book. And he actually, I found in the front of his book an amazing pyramid. And I thought, man, how lucky am I that I can find a pyramid in the most successful leadership book in the world. It, and it's not just a normal pyramid. It's a pyramid of the success pyramid. So if somebody now complains to me again about a pyramid, I'm going to tell them, you know what, if you want to know if I'm in a pyramid, yes, I'm in a pyramid, a success pyramid. Because Matt, this, this coach wouldn't have written his whole thing about how to become successful at the top of his pyramid is success. But this whole pyramid is based on personal relational relationship skills. Attitude, everything. But I want to share with you four of his basic things on how to get the base layer of that success. And there's four, four very specific base bricks of that pyramid, the foundation of his pyramid. And that is friendship. The second one is loyalty. The third one is cooperation and the fourth one is enthusiasm so can i repeat it again for you it is friendship loyalty cooperation and enthusiasm now if i say that does it sound to you like a lot of 
ja, nou wel, extra work, whatever. It is about the work that you have to do, do in yourself. It's about the things that you have to do in your heart. It's what you have to do about your relationship with other people. It's a lot of things that you have to do on how you handle people. And if you read the book of Coach Wooden, you're going to understand what he says about it. It's all about how do you work with people? How do you look at people? How do you treat people? Just think about this topic. And then the topic is people want to know how much you care. So they don't know. They really don't want to know. What do you know about lead team? What do you know about? What do you know? What? How do they? Yeah, that's the important stuff. How do you get to the next level? That's important. But you're going to keep them in by loving them, building the relationship, being enthusiastic about where they're going. Let's go back to the manatech business. Working with people. Remember the basics. We talked about for success. Everybody communicate, but few people connect with the person that's on the, on the opposite of that table. Not everybody listen to you. Do you really connect to the person that's sat in front of you? Do you really connect? The key to connecting is do you really care? about the person who sit in front of you. Caring is connecting. If that person thinks you are just another person, you are talking to just another person, they don't care. They, they don't listen to you. Caring is paving the way to do business, maybe not today, maybe not this week, but maybe in two weeks' time. If you if you you can do the business today, but if you're going to keep that person in your business, that's that's the story. Sometimes you first have to build loyalty. Sometimes you first have to build a little bit of friendship, and then then you get to that point of now we do business. People do business with people they know, like, and trust. Old story, still stays true. Now we get to the type of business we were in before we got into the business of managing. If you were a manager, you didn't have time to think about the lady sitting in front of the computer that had to chase the budget that you were supposed to make for the week, for the month. You couldn't care about that lady who sits and she's doing her work. But she was, she was so frantically doing her work but because she was worried about, about a child at home who couldn't go to school because she was, she was not allowed to go to school because she was, she had some sort of story at school that she wasn't allowed to go to school. Or her husband left her for somebody else. Or her car broke down and she couldn't go back she didn't know how she's going to go back to her, her, her house that evening. You didn't have time because you've got your own problems because your child has to go on a soccer tour and you don't have the money to pay for that soccer tour. You have your own problems. Now you're in a business like Manatee and somebody's sitting in front of you and you want to you want to think the same way about that person. You can't. You can't think about the same. You can't do that. We first connect with that person in a personal way. One of the basics in this business that I've learned from Leonie van der Linde was: if somebody's personal life is hectic and haywire, you can't expect them to go in a different direction and grow out of it and expect from them to do a business in a way that 
yeah, expect from them thing. If they want to, if they are strong and they can grow through that and they're going to say, yes, I'm going to overcome and do this anyway, they decide they're going to do that and you can support them through it. Yes. But if they can't, if their personal situation is in a mess, you can't. You're not their boss. And that is where we are in a willing business in Manate. We are them. We support that people. We love them. And then maybe you are now in Manatech and you were the lady who was sitting in front of your computer, sitting in front of the computer in that business and you were just getting the work in, and you didn't even have to plan your work. You just got the work to do. And now nobody is telling you what to do and you don't know what to do. They say you've got your own business, but you don't know what to do and nobody is now telling you what to do. So what, what, you, what must you do now? Well, if you don't know what to do, go to the first upline and ask him, tell me what to do. Don't wait and wait because nobody's going to tell you what to do because we know your boss. So there's many ways in this business. We are not selling. We are in this business helping everybody at different levels. That's why we say, when you're in this business, don't think you know everything. Everybody of us have something from our previous businesses that's beneficial to this business, definitely. But go to your upline and ask, you know what, what's my blind spot? What can I do better at serving my people? Because people come first. Because you want to keep them in. I want to challenge you with this. One of the last um, things that we had the privilege of is, um, now before I come to that, I just want to say, you know what, we're in the business now, lots of electronic things and, and computer and AI and everything is making our lives so much better that that we can go forth and, you know, we can do great things, get on quickly and you know, do advertisements and all of that. But that personal touch, that phone call, that quick, quick, hello, how are you? That type of thing. Um, yeah, if we, we can't do, it can't be done by a telephone, by a computer or whatever. And, um, I just want to say one of, one of the last speeches that, um, <coughs> Mr. Van Allen did it with, with Leonie before, um, before he, he, he stopped his, um, he, you know, his on, on stage appearances was, yeah, I will never forget it. It was, it was so beautiful. He, he stood with Leone and he said, just appreciate the person next to you. And he said, he said to me and Sebastian that same evening, he said, just always be grateful for one another. And he said, take extra care of one another. And then he and Leonie said, to all the manatee people there, just love one another. Because that's, that's the end, what all is all about. It's all about proper, real love. It's not just about manatee the product and just business, money. It's not about that. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of business that we are in. It's a caring business. It's not just a business that we, we just do to rank, go through ranks. Yeah, it's part of it. So I just want to say, if you think you are one in a small somebody in a small in a small somebody in a big business, I want to think of yourself as a as a droplet of water, because that was something that came up in my heart when I was thinking about this topic. If you're a little droplet. It rained, 
and you now drinking down the hill and you come to meet up with another little stream and here you go now you, your little downline is going with you you go down, down, down you meet up with a little bigger stream and now you get to the river you're still a droplet in a bigger stream that stream goes into the river your droplet's still in that river you're now in a bigger river and next to you is other droplets some of the droplets are scared. Some of them are afraid. Some of them don't know what tomorrow is going to look like. Some of them are very sure that where they are going. You maybe think, well, I am so glad I'm here because I've already found my little way. I I'm so glad I found my little way because now I'm, at least I can enjoy the swim. Otherwise, I would have just lay there on the side of that ground and just evaporated. But I'm not part of this. I now can be. I can just now be part of this whole system. This river is now going down to the sea, and you know what's going to happen when I'm down in the sea. We, I'm going to come. I'm going to become part of this whole system where rain is going to be created again, where we're going to wet the earth. So I'm becoming a part of a whole system that is actually never going to stop. Just by being, saying, you know what, I want to be part of something. By taking care of each other, clinging to each other. When we sit in the leaders meeting, uh, when it's at the super regional, there is a banner that said, sit with the winners, that the conversation is different. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's not just raw, raw. It's all about we care. If I can, if I can have my biggest wish come true, often 18 years in Manatee, I would love to get the people who stick, who, who stuck around. And I would start with the Van der Lindes, who, who began, who be, no, began. I would love to make a little short movie of all the people, how they changed. And not everybody went to this big prince. These people who only got to like, Gold, um, like the e executive and that sort of pins. But their lives change so dramatically. There are different people in life. Mm. It's like, you don't, you don't, you haven't seen it because we've been there. We saw them when they started. And now, if we look at them, it's like every time we sit there and you think, is this possible? So we can say, we, not we, manate how people find their voice. This system of Louis and Leone van der Linde and these, their children change this whole business and people who want to, to be part of it. Change people who want to change. And that's exactly what, why we are still part of this business. It's an incredible business. And that's why if you've got somebody sitting in front of you, connect with them. You've got the chance to change somebody's life every time you sit in front of them. And I want to challenge everybody who's in Manatee. If you enroll somebody, just know you taking somebody's hand and you are promising them you're going to support them by never quitting do you hear what yes. i'm saying <clears throat> never quitting because we've been helping so many people and you can ask a lot of these top line leaders people who just they vanish out of the business and then there's a lot of people who sit in the business and there's nobody who's helping them or just say, you know what, come into this line, come into this line. 
we will assist you. There's somebody you can get into this group. Helping in this business just mean you're going to be in the line where there's some activity and you work for yourself. But if you just, if you've got, if you're earning money in this business and you don't know that you own it to people that you've enrolled and you're not helping people to also uh, get to their full potential, it is a sad scenario because we, we didn't, nobody get in this business to do this to people. So with that, I just want to say, may each one of you who listen to us tonight know, if you care about somebody, don't quit. Stay where you are. Share the hope. Because we hope that for each, each one of you, and we, we really enjoy doing this with you. Thank you very much. And with that, I just want to give to Sebastian, who is my inspiration for this business. <laughs> Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. Thank you for that breath. Thank you for that wisdom. And um, I take my hat off to you for your courage, <laughs> for sharing. And um, yeah, I, I truly believe that your message um, uh, made a difference in a lot of people's lives tonight. So, um, yes, um, as Brad said, our topic is people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Now, this is quite a common phrase in network marketing, and I'm quite sure most of you could recite it with me as I started sharing this quote, this phrase. However, tonight, Brad and I have the privilege to dive a bit deeper into this. And as a bonus, we can also share with you from what we've learned during our 18-year journey with this amazing company. And Brach shared uh, quite a lot about our journey and, um, and, and the privilege that we have to, to be a part of and representing this amazing, com uh, amazing company. But, but why is it important that we have a clear and true perspective or understanding regarding this phrase. Well, we know that each customer and associate is a volunteer. A volunteer to be part of this opportunity. They are here because they choose to be here, not because you tell them to be here. And we've seen and experienced that when people don't feel cared for or cared about, there's a very good chance of them stopping their order or quitting the business. And quitting is not an option. Brach mentioned that. Quitting is not an option. But when people start in this business and we don't show care, even if it's a customer, we need to care for our customers. If we don't show care, there's a very good chance that you're going to lose that order or that associate. So that's why it is so important that we understand this phrase. But tonight I'm focusing on, uh, on associates because this call is for associates. But we've also experienced that new and very often existing associates have a very skewed or screwed understanding or perception of how this care or help looks like. And this can cause a lot of confusion. So on this point, I want to ask you to please share with us in the chat box in what year of your Manatech journey are you now? Just that just the people on the call can see um, there's people that's here in their first year or in their second year or maybe in their 10th year or maybe their 15th year. Just that you know what type of commitment it takes for people to be here uh, in, for, for their journey. So we want to thank you for participating. So let's start by what it means to care, as stated 
at the end of this phrase. So it's not, it's people, people don't care how much you know. It's not that care. They want to know how much you care. So we're talking about the second, the second care on, in this phrase. How will you define the word care? You now listening to this call, think how you will define that care. Well, as most of us do, I've asked ChatGPT to give me a definition, and I'm, I think it was quite spot on. So ChatGPT's definition of care is a genuine concern and consideration for the well-being, feelings, and needs of others. It involves actively showing empathy, compassion, and a willingness to help and support individuals beyond transactional interaction. That is the most important part of that definition, beyond transactional interaction. So to break it down a bit more and to make it applicable to network marketing, it's about building trust. So when our customers and team members perceive that we genuinely care about their success and well-being, they are more likely to trust us and value our knowledge and experience. The second part of this is fostering loyalty. Genuine care fosters strong, loyal relationships. And Brad spoke about that as well. People are more inclined to remain engaged and committed when they feel valued and understood. And the first part of that caring is enhancing communication. Communication is a vital part of caring. When you care, your communication become more effective as it is rooted in the understanding and addressing the actual needs and concerns of others. So a very important part of this communication is asking questions. We cannot just say what's in our mind or in our head. We need to ask questions. Mm. So to summarize this, uh, summarize this, by embodying this aspects, these aspects that I just mentioned of care in your interactions, we can create meaningful connections that are the foundation of successful relationships. So practically, this means that we need to understand that the person sitting in front of us must probably, most probably, had a challenging day and despite that are still choosing to honor your appointment. So don't just fire away with what you think that person needs to hear, your advice, your opinions, before you haven't asked with genuine compassion. Ask enough questions to know and understand how they how their day was so far and what's happening in their lives. First do that. First build rapport. First ask questions to understand where they are before you take them to where they can be. Or ask them where do you want to go? Don't just assume, don't just come with your wisdom or your knowledge or your understanding. Meet them where they are. I also find I also found a lot of wisdom and inspiration on the topic of caring from um, from the the, the book by uh, Simon Sinek, and that book is Leaders Eat Last. And I can strongly like, recommend that you um, that you read this book. Now t- tonight is not a leadership uh, session, but the just that phrase "Leaders Eat Last." is an important principle in caring. This book emphasizes that sustainable success comes from people who put other people first and think long term. I'm saying it again. Put other people first and think long term. So let's take this information and see how it applies to our magnetic business and what we've learned regarding this during our journey. You see, we all have our opinion on things. And if you've just joined this business, your view and opinion will most likely differ 
from someone's opinion who's been actively participating in building their magnetic business for two or more years. That's why I've asked you to share in what year, in what magnetic year you are, because I'm quite certain that depending on your years in magnetic, you, your, your opinion and understanding and perception on this have changed a lot, like it's happened with us. So there's a few perceptions from new and existing associates, so not just new associates, but also existing associates that we've come across, and maybe you can identify with some of them. I don't think my upline care about my business because they're not enrolling people under me. Next one, nobody wants to help me. Or my upline doesn't really care. But then you're not plugged into the system of Tom's opportunity meetings, monthly training, quarterly super regional. Those things are provided by the South African leadership team for you to learn and to grow your business. But you say, nobody wants to help me or my upline doesn't care. So first thing, what's happening from your side before you make that statement? Another one is, nobody wants to do a house meeting for me. Maybe you've heard this. But you're not attending opportunity meetings where you can learn how to do your own house meeting. Another one, and this is the last one. I've asked my upline numerous times to help me with this or that, or to give me an answer on this or on that. But your lead team score is almost 0%. And you're not subscribed to the lead team library where you can find recordings and mo uh, recordings on most of the products and presidential testimonies on how they overcome their challenges. And you don't know how to use the in-app AI, the lead team AI, where you can get a compliant answer on almost anything. So with that, I'm saying that the system is there and the tools are there for you to succeed and to make it possible for you to succeed, even if you don't get help from your upline. Now, maybe there's a few more of these um, sayings that, that you know, especially if you've been in the business for a while, and, and you're welcome to maybe share some of them in the, in the chat box um, that people can see. It's not just these, but um, there's things that that you would also that you also come across where, where, where people is just stating and complaining that that they are not taken care of or um, uh, there's they they don't get the attention. But but you know it's because they they actually not they they're not plugged into what need to be plugged into to grow this business. So with us. I want you as an existing associate or a new associate, I want you to understand that anyone can be very successful in this business. If they get help from the upline or not, because as I said, the three point plan system and the lead team app, app has, has been put together by Louis Leone van der Linde and the leadership team for the sole purpose of helping you to succeed by plugging into it. And you can show your upline that you can do this with or without them. So with the above mentioned in mind, I also want to remind you of a few key phrases that we had to learn to embrace on our journey. And I know there's a few on, your, on this call that will also recognize them. So the first one, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you'll feed him for life. And then the one by Eric Wari that I, it really helped me to give me perspective on this help or caring of others. He says, we, we, uh, people come to you and say, or, or maybe you've said to your, to your associate, I'll help you build your business. But what you actually meant is, I'll help, comma, you build your business. So we, we need our people to understand that there's a difference between 
I'll help you build your business and I'll help and you build your business. Next one, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And then when you're hungry, chances are good that you'll search for something to eat. Or when your car's fuel tank is empty, chances are good that you'll be on the lookout for a filling station. Which means that if you come to a point where you, re where you realize, I, I don't have, I don't understand it, I don't have what it takes to go to the next level. You will most probably go and look for a place and or a person that can help you at that point. Then another one. Don't come to me with your problems and excuses. Come to me with two or three solutions. Then I can help you pick the right one. And then empowering people by doing it with them or by pointing them in the right direction, not by doing it for them. A lot of people want us to do it for them, but we are not in this business to do it for them. We're in the business to empower them, to do it with them, not for them. And then Louis van der Linde's favorite, my wish for you is a lot of adversities so you can grow into a strong leader. And then we know Jim Rohn, don't wish for things to be better, wish for you. Don't think, don't wish for things to be easier. Wish for you to be better. And then lastly, if you give one step, I'll give two. If you give two steps, I'll give three. But if you don't step, I won't step. So these are phrases that we learned through our journey that really helped us to get a different perspective on this, this phrase of people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And sometimes that caring is not to do it for them, but to do it with them, to empower them. So in closing, yes, it's important to put people, to put other people first and think long term. It's important to care for people and to help them. But you as a new associate or an existing associate who's complaining that your upline is not helping you, you must grow a new mindset, one of overcoming, because this is a business of empowering people, showing them the way, being an example, saying, let's go, not you go. But I also want to add a downline, upline perspective to this caring and helping people. And maybe this has crossed your mind before tonight, but what a privilege it is to know that as a downline, I am helping and caring for my upline by taking ownership of my business and do whatever it takes to make it work, to be an overcomer. So you see, the caring and helping in this business goes both ways. We need to get the right perspective on people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. It was a privilege to share on this call. We trust that it has helped you to move forward. And uh, looking forward to see you at the next opportunity meeting or monthly training or Super Regionals. Have a blessed evening. Back to you, Elise. Oh, thank you very much, um, Sebastian and Brach. Um, I must say this was a valuable teaching. Um, we have taken in every single word of this teaching um, that you've said tonight. But what stood out for me also in this company was the fact that no matter what level you are in or were when I started, um, you need to care for people. I mean, up until today, we still get that teaching. And this, this is something that stood out for me a lot in this company that we do not have in any other business. So why do we not care for our business that we are growing for ourselves? Um, and just a last point on that, 
Um, definitely since I started for Downline, I mean, I was so much rewarded in myself um, when I helped other people that did not matter if it's upline or downline. And that forced me to actually go into depth into Manatech and learn all the tools that there is. Um, and that's something that we must strive to. Um, so thank you again for that. Um, definitely something that I'll treasure and the recording, I can't wait to re-listen to all of it. Um, so thank you everyone. Um, just so quickly, the repeat of tonight's QR code, it is 8551. So please make sure that you are reading it into your lead team app. And I would like to thank everyone for joining tonight's special webinar. And then we are going to definitely see you at the same time, at the same place next week. Thank you, everyone.